the, the a chuck, if you have wet wood, will crimp the fibers and then crimps it a little bit more because it, as it's drying, it crimps it out. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more careful. Uh, I want to get this right here to fit the chuck. Remember, that's the part. So we're going to take it down. Just to this. Okay, I always like to glue my tool rest as close as I can. Thank you. 
want to. Uh, we are getting to that day, so you know, you got to be ready. Okay, I want to get this shoulder flat and straight. Because this is the first time I've done it with a chuck. It's going to be. I'm going to be as nervous as you guys are, okay? As you are, I'm sure. <laughs>
set of binds to some certain things and you don't have the money and you don't, you know. That bowl was turned on a face plate. And then I put that face plate on another piece of plywood. And then I cut a groove in. And then I put that bowl in the groove. And that's how I made the bottom. I didn't have the money to buy those extended jaw things. I made some. I made. I put some plywood on the jaws right here. The jaws here. You can unscrew these, and you can make your own wooden jaws. They're not perfect, but you don't want to make them out of corian. You know how I know that? Because <laughs> <laughs> the first time you get a catch, that thing's on the other side of the shop. <laughs> so, yeah, I've made all the mistakes. That, well, I don't know if I made them all, but I know I'm gonna make more. Uh, there's a uh, okay. This is going to be that's your hat right there. Okay, in between these lines, we're going to get rid. Chuck on. But you know what? 